What's up, everybody? This is Anthony A. for another fantastic video. Um, I'm going to be doing a review on this mini uh, tankless hot water heater. Uh, I bought it from eBay. Now, uh, I know the main picture is red. It's the same one, but they ran out of red. And truthfully, I don't care what it looks like. I care about what it could do. Um, before I jump in and go any further, uh, nobody's sponsoring me. Um, I am not getting paid to do any of this. I'm just doing this to, to, uh, share my experience. Hope this could help you. Um, maybe you, after seeing this, maybe you are going to go ahead with your purchase or maybe after this review, maybe it'll change your mind, you know, but, um, I'm just going to do a quick little review about it. I went to do I went to check it before I bought it and somebody repeatedly put slideshows with like this techno music and it's like, yeah, buddy, good job. Thanks. You know, appreciate it. Well, anyways, um this thing is about uh four inches wide. It's about four uh six inches uh tall and about two inches in depth or thickness. Very, very lightweight. Um you got your this thing's very straightforward. You got your input for the cold, and then on the top, you can see it's red. That's where, guess what? The hot water will come out of. Um, I think I already stated that you can only install this thing um, ver uh, vertically. You cannot install it laying down, so it's got to be up and down. Very, very light. Uh, requires, I'll read the, uh, the specs. We already co covered the model number. This is the XY-FB. The voltage is uh, AC, obviously, uses 110 volts, a um, regular standard outlet. The frequency is 50-60 HZ. Water pressure, it says here, 0 0.04 to 1.2 MPA. Um, when you first install this unit, um, it says to run cold water before you plug it in. Uh, there is no on and off switch. You just plug it in. But we're, we're, I'm going to install it, and I'm going to run it, and I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how how it works. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, for the connections, um, I believe that the the threads are half inch. But the best thing to do is is um, you know your shower head. Like, uh, the thing that, you know, your shower head, this is, this is the part where you would hang it up in the bathroom. This part would screw into the, uh, pipe out of your, you know, your wall, the, your water supply. Um, the, the threads are actually, uh, let me see. Can I do this one-handedly with my cell phone? See? You know, they, uh, this is, yeah, and see how it fits in. But this, you don't need this. I'm just showing you. Well, I'll show you when we get in, inside uh, the shower area. So, I think I already stated why I bought this. You know, this is just, for me, in a, an emergency. I, I have a uh, propane tankless hot water heater. Um, I bought it 10 years ago, and that's a great, uh, thing, but you know, like I said, I run out of propane, things aren't open. I have a kid, I don't want to put the propane in the car with her, and sometimes she doesn't get picked up for two, three days. You know, her mom's not available. Um, so you know, this is to back up until I could get to propane, or you know, it's, it's, it's a good thing. All right, so let's go into the shower area. I'm going to try to do the best I can with this video. I can't for some reason flip my camera around so i'm gonna do the best i can um like i said nobody else has this review so i'm i'm gonna give it a shot all right here we go i'm gonna pause this and the next time you see me will be in my beautiful stand-up shower okay i'm in my stand-up shower this was the hose i was telling you about you just grab this see so there's my shower head see that that's the shower head I'm going to, what I have here is, this is my old, this was my old uh, shower head here. Um, I, I, you know, I, I wanted to buy a hose, but they don't sell just a hose 
or at least where I was, they didn't have the hose. I had to buy a whole new thing. So obviously I'm going to use the new shower head, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to install the new shower head for permanent use. And my old one is going to be for the backup system. So I'm going to show you guys how I have this connected. Okay. So let me pause it. Hi. Okay. Now that I disconnected the shower head, you see, I wanted to show you this. They give you these little rubber washers that you install. You must have that in there. And, um, cause it's a wash, it's, you know, so it doesn't leak. So this is what I, what I do is I'm very, very sorry. Nobody's helping me with this. So I'm taking this over here. Um, and I'm going to come this way. I hope you guys can see this and I'm going to go. And I'm going to tighten this up. I'm going to pause this because I need two hands. Let's see, this will, this line here, what I'm doing, represents the cold line. Okay, let me pause this. I'm really sorry about the video quality here. Pause. My fat finger can't do it. Okay, now, that this is going to represent the cold water intake. Because what I did is I shut off my normal um, heater. I shut I shut it off, so just cold water is going to come out of that. So this this represents the cold feed in. See, so now what I got to do. Very sorry about the video. Is I'm going to take my old shower head, and I'm going to connect it to the hot water line, and then we'll do. Um, We'll, we'll do the test. All right. So I'm going to pause it. Okay, everybody. Now that I got the shower head all connected, everything's connected. Um, it says to run, run without plugging it in. So that's what I'm going to do. That will give me, give me a chance to check for leaks. So here we go. You see, there's the shower head it's running. I got no leaks. It's not plugged in, but just doing a test. So now let's um, let's uh, let's turn it on. Okay, now that I plugged it in, you see there's a. Uh, yeah, I just like I said, it's just rigged up right now. It's not for permanent use. But you see how there's a green light? That green light means that it's ready. It's on. There's power going through it. When I turn on the shower head, this turns red. So let me go ahead and do that real fast. While trying to uh I'm trying to stay focused for you guys. I'm doing the best I can for you. Let's see? turned red okay now now I'm getting hot water but now this is the thing the what, what's what happens is is with this thing is the slower the water flow goes into the machine into the heater the hotter the water will get and truthfully speaking I literally have to have this valve almost almost to the off position and then I get hot water now the thing is you're not gonna get scolding hot water you get decent water like this is good like I, this is a nice shower to me this is it's perfect I wish I had like a thermometer or something I could tell you but yeah, it's it's above warm. I can tell you that it's not hot. You know, it's not. You know, if you're looking for a heater to singe the hairs off your balls, this isn't the machine for you. But um, this over here, it, it's good. Now the only thing that I don't like, and it's probably my my place because I have an old electric box, 
it does trip my circuit breaker in the, in the uh, box. But I got an old school um, electrical system. But I mean, yeah, that's it's, it's good. It, this is nice. And like I say, if you notice, it's the valve is almost to the off position. The, the slower the flow of water going into the heater, you know, the hotter it will get. But like I said, it's not going to... I'm just going to lower it to the point. Let's see. Yeah. So, yeah, it's not on. But... There we go. I don't know if you can see the flow as I soak my shoes. But you see it's slow. Matter of fact, I'll just... see. My... Turn it up that way. See how, how the flow is very, very slow if you turn it this way. But if you got it this way, got a nice little stream there. And oh wow, yeah, that's wow, that just got really hot. And that's oh yeah, that's that's really hot. That's that's actually too hot. But like I said, the, the slower the water flow goes into that box, the hotter it will get. Oh my goodness. For 47, what, under 50 bucks? That's worth it. This is worth it. Wow. Yeah, that just got really hot. Because I, the valve is almost off. I mean, I have the water valve almost off. All right, guys. Well, that's the end of the review. I hope that this could help you out. Personally speaking, for me, this is excellent. This is an excellent device. For the price, I mean, hell, I under fifty bucks, I go through fifty dollars in the bar. This is this is perfect. This is excellent. Okay, guys, listen, be safe out there. Um, I hope everybody is is good and well. Stay safe with this coronavirus that's going around. Uh, be safe. Ooh, that's nice. I'm happy. No more microwaving bottles when I run out of propane. But uh, all right, guys, take care. God bless you, and remember something: help each other out. I'm going to shut this off, and I'm going to shut myself off. Have a great day.